Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Kevin from JJ Hat Center. It's a beautiful, beautiful morning. Uh, it's a spring morning. The sun is glaring and a wonderful spring, crispy spring breeze is pouring in through my uh, sunny window here. So um, I'm feeling good. It's a great day. I think I'm going to take my uh, little walk today. Um, it looks like, you know, the whole pandemic thing, uh, people are starting to want to open things soon. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. I still have a little bit of fear, but, um, when things do open, um, you know, we just have to be super, super careful, I think, um, despite what people say, whether they think it's safe or not, because uh, there's a chance this thing could come back in the fall and stuff. But, um, let's get back to, um sunnier uh, topics. Anyway, I've got the, uh, the Stetson catalog here for fall 2020, which is kind of like a big secret thing to a lot of, I guess, uh, you know, Stetson uh, wearers and stuff. But uh, the truth is it's actually online. Uh, it's, you know, public knowledge. It's online all the time. You can see it all the time. The thing is that most people don't know where to find it. Um, you know, they they Google Stetson and they wind up getting all the Stetson customer relations stuff. Um, but if you're kind of like on the inside track, like, you know, one of Kevin's viewers, um, you know, you know how to go around the back room and, you know, get backstage where like all the hat shop owners and uh, hat shop people, you know, work and stuff and you can check out the real deal. So all you gotta really do is don't look up Stetson. So you gotta look up the people who make Stetson. Um, Hatco, H-A-T-C-O. So when you look up Hatco, um, you'll get to their website and you'll see different lines. They have Stetson, they have Resist All, they have Charlie One Horse, they have Dobbs, um, different lines made by the same people. Um, it's my understanding that Hatco probably um, did a really, really good thing for all of these brands because there was a time where hats were super slow, like before, I don't know, the resurgence of hats and then, you know, you see them all over the media now, like, uh, I don't know, every time somebody's on like Saturday Night Live or some like Grammy Award thing, I think you got to see like everybody's got this cool hat and that cool hat and, you know. It never used to be like that. There was a time where, you know, hats were pretty slow and the only people buying them were like old men and, you know, people who were into the hat thing, which was a small kind of minority, you know. Um, and, you know, like some musicians, some very fashion forward people, you know, and stuff, but uh, it was not hot for a while. Uh, I don't know when you would say that was, you know, maybe 90s, 80s or something. And I think uh, Hatco basically bought out, you know, a whole bunch of these companies and saved them, you know, and put lots of good money into them and, uh, you know, made things. Well, that was cool. The wind actually turned the page for me. All right. So let's take a look. There's a whole bunch of different, uh, you know, new things. The Seeker Collection. Uh, these are vegan. Vegan sweatband, firm felt, indigo dyed band, cotton cord band fur felt, okay, that's not the vegan one. This is the, oh, okay. So this one is a fur felt with a vegan sweatband, that's odd. This is a vegan sweatband here, firm felt flat brim. Okay, these were gorgeous. I saw these when the Stetson rep uh, brought them in. They're basically like these beautiful open crown hats with a kind of a velvety finish and a throw grain band. They're called the Pikes Peak. And, um, you can bet we're going to get that, and uh, if we don't get it, you know, I'll tell them to get it, or one of us will tell them. The Pikes Peak is awesome. I know the second we saw that hat, we probably ordered it, so I wouldn't worry about it. It comes in sage and navy. It's just a gorgeous hat. That's the hat that everybody wanted. Flat, flat brim. Flat brim is the new thing now. It's a flat brim, uh, three and a half inches. It's not huge, huge like the Tri-City. And the crown is four and a half inches, so it's a good hat for a guy, for a big guy, small guy, lady, anybody. It's awesome. I'm going to say that's the flat brim hat everybody's been waiting for. This one's done up a little bit more like the Tri-City with less brim, three and three-quarter inch. Wow, it's a nice big brim, okay, but it's beautiful. It's like 
that's the look everybody wants now, like that uh, Gary Clark Jr. Uh, uh, flat brim thing. All right, and more of this kind of stuff. The Rattler. Uh, the Eureka has some like uh, turquoise stones that are actually sewn onto the bottom of this pencil curl of the brim. It's kind of hard to see at the glare there. Focused that it got a lot darker or whatever. I don't know, let's see. Alright, anyway. Vegan sweatband, brim curl to wool felt. Okay, with a pencil curl, three and three quarter. That's awesome. This stuff is all great. Um, you've got a, an open road in beaver. A pure beaver with a soft finish, open road tobacco, blue phantom gray alabaster, and the same thing with a strata liner, pure beaver. Called the pure strata liner and the pure open road. A lot of people are excited for those ones. Let me show you these here. Give me a second. beavers and remember this stuff is online so it's been out there for you guys to see for a while you know it's uh might be kind of groundbreaking for you to see next year's line um but yeah you can see it most most of the time it's just uh you know sales reps people from the stores who know about this stuff so hey it's a covid thing you guys deserve something special so this is how us shop owners do it. You just go to the website, Hatco, and you see what they're making next year. The bench benchmark, we have that. They call it the Benchley. Uh, we ordered the, the Benchley, made it a little bit more velvety. We call it the benchmark. The Pinnacle, we call the Metropolitan. It's essentially an all beaver Stetson Temple, but our version has, again, a little more of a suede felt. It's like a uh, softer velvety finish. It's called the Metropolitan. Same hat though. Premier Stratoliner is a hat that everybody loves. Uh, first of all, if you're looking for like just a cool, interesting, funky hat, it comes open crown and then you can practice all these shapes that I do. You know, you could put a cattleman's crease in these um, if you want to make them like an open road. You could cattleman them and they look, you know, basically like that. Um, that's how, yeah. That's how a Stratoliner looks when it's creased. It's exactly like an open road. It's a little bit different, a little bit shorter brim, but not that much shorter. It's really, you know, like this hat and this hat are the same, open crown. You know. Biggest difference is that an open road is Western felt. It's stiff and hard. And a Stratoliner is dress felt. It's softer. It's actually a very thick felt because the Premier is a, uh, extra thick one it's kind of like an upgraded dress hat felt but it's a soft felt you know so soft dress hats versus hard westerns but same shape so the stratoliner premier is an awesome awesome hat because like uh it's so versatile if you're a vintage guy and you're looking for you know a new clean hat not a vintage hat from the 40s but something that's new that has the 1940s cut you know, like the authentic cut. Talking about like that really big boxy crown. It's kind of like shaped like a, I don't know, like a rectangle like that, you know. The big baggy uh, wide crowns are gonna be found in the, this hat, the Premier Strail Liner, and also another hat, um, the Stetsonian, which has a bound edge and a huge brim. Um, I'm not crazy about the brims on the Stetsonians, but I love the crown, if that makes sense. Uh, Stetsonian just has this huge, huge brim, so you look like this kind of big reporter guy. I think it's okay if you're a very tall guy, though. If you're a bigger guy, you know, wider guy, 
were a taller guy, you know, fat, muscular, tall, whatever, to carry a Stetsonian, you gotta be, you can't be a little skinny pipsqueak. If you are, you gotta be heavily into the film noir thing or the swing thing because it's exaggerated, the big brim. I prefer the premier Stratoliner for a vintage hat. Um, the only thing that some people don't like is the fact that it has like the thin ribbon. Uh, I personally like that. I think it looks different from every single person on the dance floor who's got a wide ribbon. But the wide ribbon does uh, help for sweat and stuff. It keeps your felt clean, you know, prevents uh, sweat stains on the actual felt. And it looks more nostalgic. So you can always change it. Um, it's okay to change the band and make it look more vintage. You know, um, you know, wear it for a couple months, then change it, or change it at the top, you know, when you first buy it. But uh, that's the hat that has the crown that looks like a real old 40s hat, nothing else. I mean, yeah, the Stetsonian, but that hat just, it's to me, it's not authentic. It tried to be authentic, but the brim was just too big. So the premier Stratoliner is it. That's, you're looking for a hat that, like, you know, if you handed that to a guy in the 1940s or whatever, the 50s, and you said, yeah, try this, he wouldn't look at you like, what the heck is this? It would just look like something that's in fashion, you know? It's a common, you know, if you gave it to a guy, he'd probably know how to break it down. You know, you give it to him, he'd do some creases, stick it on his head real fast. Um, when I first got the job in like 1994, I noticed there were a lot of people doing that. They would ask for an open crown hat, and generally the first thing I do is I center crease it and pinch it and give it to them. Um, sometimes I center crease it, pinch it, and flip the brim down too. Um, but these guys used to say, no, 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 I'll do it myself, I'll break it down myself. And they all said that, I'll break it down myself, which is like, you know, slang from the 70s, 60s, whatever. Um, I guess it carried over into the 80s and 90s. I don't see it that much now, but yeah, a lot of guys would say, no, 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 let me break it down. And you'd hand them the open crown hat and they would do kind of like a quick thing. It took them like a second, stick it on their head and break it down. So I think it was something that a lot of men knew how to do back then. And the Premier Stratoliner is that, you know, in spades, it's that authentic open crown hat from the 40s that's got the right brim and the right crown to look like, you know, those old movies. I was talking about in one of my videos about that TV show Superman. Um, if anybody wants to just, you know, YouTube it, um, find Superman the show, but the, the black and white TV show, not the cartoon with, you know, actors and stuff. I mean, he used to jump out of the office building, right, and they'd have this like whistling, there's like I loved that whistling when it was flying, you know? But all the hats, the hats in that uh, show looked like this, you know, they're all like that baggy, big teardrop with the big hole on the top, you know, like this big baggy teardrop. Um, that's the look, you know, and they're so deep that you don't even have to make the bubble coming up for your head that you could just, you know, you could sink the hat down without you know, your head popping up through it. So it's it's like a true vintage teardrop. Hard to explain, but that's it. Um, and it, it just does everything. You know, it'll do the open road thing. It'll do the open crown thing. You, you know, you could do so many shapes with it. Um, it's just an incredible hat, you know. You could make it flat like a pork pie if you wanted to, anything. You could teardrop it. Um, very versatile hat, thick, good quality. All right, let's get back. Next one. Uh, the Derby, we carry the Stetson Derby. We carry it in this beige color called Fawn, and Caribou is gray. Uh, although not every Caribou is the same. They make a lot of different hats. They call Caribou, and you know, there's like five, six, seven, eight different Caribou grays. They just call gray Caribou all the time. I don't know why. Um, the Hamburg, same thing as the Derby, with a little wider brim and a center crease on the top. That's the difference, Hamburg, Derby. Derby is good for a smaller face, Hamburg for a little bigger face. Hamburg is great, you could also pinch a Hamburg. Um, oh, I forgot what, what show it was, I was a guy I had a pinched Hamburg, it looks so good. Um, anyway, it'll come to me. Um, okay, the Stetson Temple. This is a great hat, uh, center crease, raw edge. Not the best hat for heavy rains though, because it's a big brim. 
raw edge. I'd say it's good for light rings or no rings, even better. The Wicked has the bound edge teardrop slightly less brim than the Temple. The Temple is 2 and 5 eighths in front and in the back. This is 2 and 3 eighths all the way around. Okay? The Temple is cut smaller on the sides. The sides are shaved down to 2 and 3 eighths. So it's kind of longer in the front and back, the temple. It gives it a more nostalgic look uh, for a center crease. It doesn't look so plain. It gives it a more authentic look. Um, and also, when you want to turn the brim down all the way and do the uh, Indiana Jones thing, it looks right. It doesn't stick out. The Roadster is a hat. It's a, it's a really thick, kind of a rugged, um, what do you call it? It's a rugged fedora. It has a cowhide sweat band, a bound edge, firm felt, and instead of a regular teardrop, it has what they call a three-finger crease or a chicken foot. It's like when you take your finger and you make like a little, like a, you know, what is that Bruce Lee thing? You know, you do that and you actually, you crease the hat like that. Instead of doing a round teardrop in the back there, you just do a three-finger. So it looks like a teardrop that somebody just did by hand basically a hand-shaped teardrop. The Whippet is a more solid, nostalgic choice. It's just a good, good, good temple. I mean, it's a good, good, good Stetson. I think uh, it's a solid choice for anybody. Um, these Amish hats we don't sell anymore, but they're pretty cool. They're super hard, really kind of funky. I don't know. I think they're for kids and stuff. Um, Westerns, all right? The Dune, Stetson Dune is probably one of the most uh, popular hats. It was actually invented by the, uh, somebody, actually the owner of JJ's, Ida, her husband designed that hat, which is really cool. Um, the Dune is essentially there out back. It's like a, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, well, here's the Cetera. The Cetera and the Dune are kind of the same shape. The Dune is darker, so it's harder to tell, but they're the same thing. The Dune has a ribbon band like a Premier Stratoline or an open road, so it looks cleaner. The Cetera has more of an outback kind of a look because it has a leather band, a leather western band, and a kind of an earthy color and stuff, so it looks rugged, like a safari kind of a look, where the Dune looks more polished. It has a bound edge, Cetera has a kind of a raw edge. The, the, the Dunes bound edge and that classy ribbon band gives it a, um, a clean look. It's clean. You could wear it with an overcoat, a black one with an overcoat, a tan one. Uh, you could wear it dressy. It comes in silver belly, black, and ink one. All three colors look dynamite. Um, great hat for the rain, great hat for sun good to just wear with an overcoat if you don't want to wear the fedora and you're not a 40s guy or just don't like it. It's also much more rugged than a fedora without being a western hat either. It's kind of just like a very plain, classy Stetson hat. The Royal Flush is a gambler and has a flat top like a pork pie and a kind of a pencil curl. So it's like curled and rolled around the edge like a derby or a Hamburg. You know, the brim, um, and it has a uh, like silver little conchos on it, going around. So it's like a black with silver, or or a silver belly with silver. It also comes in chocolate, but we we don't sell it in chocolate. I think it looks great in the black and the white. You know, um, we've sold this to a whole bunch of different rock stars too. It's kind of a western rock look. Uh, Dickie Betts has one. I think Tom Hannon from. Uh, Tesla has one. Oh, I can't even think of who else. A whole bunch of rock guys. And it's a great kind of a dressy hat. If you want a Western, you could wear that's not too buckaroo cowboy. You could wear it with like, let's say you're a shorter guy. It has a low, low crown. It's a great Western rugged hat in all black if you're a shorter dude. Uh, so is the Black Dune, but a Royal Flush, you could wear that with a black overcoat and just wear that black Royal Flush with it and you'll look cool because it's a low, low crown. So it's got a little bit of an attitude, you know, for like you city folk and stuff. And kind of a badass, like all black looking sinister thing, but uh, it's tasteful. It's really nice. Uh, 
if I should do any more of these. I can't really do them all. These are um, crushable. They make a crushable gus, which is amazing. You know, it's like a 10 gallon hat shape and crushable light fill. We had that. They make ones that have a um, ear flaps inside, which are really neat. We sell those. I mean, we have about six or seven of these models. Probably more. And they sell really fast. Uh, they own some trails. Another one that looks like a Gus. We have not had that one. Uh, let me see. A few of these things fell down here. Lost a couple pages. Right here. What else we got here? Oh, the Selby and the Saxon. Okay. The Saxon is an amazing hat. It's a two inch brim. That's your Frank Sinatra hat in gray. Uh, it's not pictured here, but it does come in caribou with a black stripe. It looks just like that. It's this Sinatra hat, you know, this kind of thing or this kind of thing. The Saxon is a two inch brim, which is perfect. The Selby is a one and seven eighths inch brim with no pinches. Uh, we used to sell that about 15, 20 years ago. We had five colors in the Selby, five colors in the Saxon, no more. Now we do like four or five colors in the Saxon, that's it. It's just too redundant. They're almost, I mean, an eighth of an inch difference. Think about that. That's an eighth of an inch total. So you have to split that in half, quarter, like a, a half of the, you know, a sixteenth on one side, a sixteenth on the other. So the difference you're looking at is a sixteenth of an inch on each side, left and right. That's the difference between Selby and Saxon. So they look the same. You know, the train dog is trying to see it, but yeah, you have to be like selling them for a while, I guess. Uh, the Stratoliner, the regular one, is known as the Stratoliner SE Special Edition. That's a nice low crown Stratoliner. Uh, it's much more accessible than the Premier, which has got a big, tall, baggy crown. It's not for everybody. This is the regular Stratoliner for most people. Navy, Silver Belly, Cognac, Caribou Gray, Black, Cordova, Walnut, and Sage. Uh, we've done every one of these colors except Walnut. We do Cognac instead, I think. Yeah, yeah, we don't do Natural, we don't do Walnut, but we do Sage, Black, wait, no, what do we do, Sage, Caribou, Silver Belly, Cognac, Navy, and then a few custom colors. We do a charcoal gray with uh, with cream colored trim. Uh, we do another Silver Belly with brown trim. There's a few, so I guess we have this many, but a little different colors. The Downs, uh, that's a two and three eight. It's basically the Whippet without a bound edge and a thinner ribbon. So it looks like less nostalgic to me. The, ri the ribbon on the Whippet is wider, plus it has a bound edge, this has a raw edge. I like the Whippet better. The binding makes the brim straighter and more stable. It doesn't get as wishy-washy in the rain. Um, where this, the raw edges to me just are not as performance oriented, they're just more like, it's an aesthetic thing to me. So I don't like the downs, we don't really sell it, you know. I prefer the Whippet, it's the same hat. The runabout is a rollable, crushable hat. We actually had a couple of problems with that. Um, because it was minor, it was sweatband problems on the inside. Some stitching on the sweatband wasn't right, so we don't sell that anymore. We, we cut those out, they're on, I think, half price, or if there's anything left. And that's just about it. Yeah, there's nothing else good here. Stetson hat racks. Huge hat racks. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I wonder if they'll sell them to the public. You should find out. They do have a customer service numbers. Email cust serve c u s t s e r v at h a t dash c o dot com. You also have customer service eight hundred number one eight hundred three two five two six six two. 1-800-325-2662. So if you're into getting one of these sets and hat racks, you could ask them. Get the half wooden rack, get the full wooden rack, 75 by 20 by 38, or 75 by 28 and a half deep. Oh, I see. So it's, it's two of them back to back, or one side against the wall, or two back to back.
That's it. We're gonna ride out to the country tonight. I hope they're ready, honey. I'm ready. But I've got to tell you something. Yeah? Is it about the stars or about the dusty trail? I've heard just about every song in the book. No, it's, well, I'm... I'm pregnant. You're what? I'm, I'm, I'm pregnant, honey. Aren't, aren't you hun, happy? Uh, well, uh... <laughs> well, I don't understand. What's the matter? Well, uh, I've been to the doctor. I know I'm, uh, what do you call it? I'm shooting blanks, honey. I can't have no kids, so if you're pregnant, wasn't by me. Oh, dear. I, uh, oh, dear, that's all you have to say? Um... Oh, God. Uh, okay. It was a one-time thing. It happened once. It was with your friend Arnie. Arnie? My golf partner? Yeah. You were in the other room. I think you were showering, getting ready for golf, and we were chatting, and we had a romantic look, and... We just attacked each other, and he just kissed me, and, and, and I just let him, and, and we met the next day for, he called me, and I just didn't hang up, I just, I'm sorry, honey, I'm so sorry. <sighs> You're sorry. We got 30 miles tomorrow of dusty, hard trail to ride, and you tell me this tonight? Hi. Don't you just love it? Don't you love cowboys? Don't you just love cowboy romances? Oh god, look at him. He's so tall. Look at his boots. He's probably a model though. Oh god. Probably doesn't even love girls. Look at him. Look at the, look at the hair gel. Actually, he's, he looks pretty cool. He's got like a little beard there going. Hi, honey. Is this a little modeling job for you? Yeah? You're doing fine, honey. Arch your back a little bit. Boys like that, like this. Alright, uh... We snuck in a little Frank here instead of the uh, normal playing guitars uh, because we just wanted to tell you it's about uh, there's a little premiere tonight at about uh, 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's New York time. I'm from New York, Pitkin Avenue. You know where that is? Probably not, I'm sure. That's Brooklyn, baby. So, uh, Brooklyn time, we're talking like uh, 8 p.m. It's basically the story of my life, part four. It's called The Final Chapter, and uh, it's real good. There's like a whole bunch of stars in there, and we got a great trailer running now. If you look at the, the video right before this one. So, sorry to pull this crap on you. I know a lot of you people don't like this Frank stuff. You like more the hat stuff, so uh, we, we pulled a little fast one on you there, huh? We stuck the Frank right in there. So we'll, we'll make it kind of fast, all right? Watch my thing tonight at like 8 o'clock. It's real cool. And I ain't gonna threaten you or nothing. Just, you know, if you wanna see how the other side lives, you know, the darker side, organized crime, this and that, this is my past. It's nothing I'm particularly proud of. Uh, I've actually gotten many awards from the local police department for helping youths and steering them away from jail and away from crime. So uh, I have totally reformed. And uh, although I'm not proud of my old life, uh, it is my life uh, nonetheless. So stay tuned, 8 o'clock uh, Eastern Standard Time for the final chapter. Take care, it is, folks. Later.